Hey guys, welcome back. This video, we are going to be talking about numeric data types, get started working with those, talk about some of the gotchas and the important things to know, and you know, all that fun stuff. If you guys have enjoyed the series so far, do me a favor and check out the link in the description. That's going to be a link to our sponsor, Dev Mountain, which is a boot camp that's basically going to help you get a job in the industry. So if you want to learn all of the JavaScript based web development, such as JavaScript, React, Node.js, and how to put that into an ecosystem with GitHub, testing, and some user experience and design in there as well, then you need to check out Dev Mountain because they're going to teach you all of those skills. There's people who say they've learned more at Dev Mountain in 13 weeks than they learned in the last two years of self-study. So if you want to take your life seriously, check out Dev Mountain. They'll help you learn this stuff and they'll help you get a job. Mention that I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off. Back to numbers, there's nothing too crazy about numbers. There's just some things you need to know to understand how they work in JavaScript. But they work basically like expected. So for example, if we have a number, it looks like that. You've probably seen that a thousand times. But one thing you need to know is that you can also store decimal values. So for example, we could say X is 5.5. Internally, numbers are 64-bit floating point numbers. So this is known as a double precision floating point number and is in contrast to what's known as a float, which is just 32-bit. So 64-bit gives us a lot of memory to work with these numbers and allows us to store some pretty large numbers. But there's only one data type for numbers. There's not one reserved for integers and there's not one for floats and then double and then decimal or whatever it is. There's just number. Why is this important? Well, sometimes when you're working with integer values, which basically are just numbers without anything with a decimal, it's important to make sure you are very precise and that the number you're trying to represent is 100% correct. But this is not always the case with a floating point number. Because of the way JavaScript stores numbers, you can occasionally get some odd things going on with your numbers. And this is going to happen when we try to go too high in our number or too low. So if you wanted to safely store an integer, how high could you go? Well, you can actually figure that out using number dot, and then there's this max safe integer and min safe integer. So let's print the max safe integer for a sec. We do a refresh and we get this huge value. Let me zoom out. That's the value. So if you're storing dollars to represent your bank account, congratulations. <laughs> but this is the highest integer we can safely store. So what exactly do I mean by safely? Well, check this out. If we do something like we console log X, we should get that value. And now let's increase it one. Print it, we get two. Let's increase it one more. Do refresh. Oh, what? Huh? We're still getting two, even though we put the value three. Oh, that's weird. We put four. Now we get four. Okay, so we can't put a three there. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Not all numbers can be represented once we get into the large numbers. That's because we're given a limited number. That's because we're given... That's because we're given limited space and memory to store our number, so we can't just create infinitely large numbers. We can test if a number is in the safe zone using number dot is safe integer and putting the thing we're testing inside of parentheses. Do a refresh, we get false. So anytime we get false for this, we know we're in the issue zone. If we bring this down to 91, we should be okay. And there we go. Now you can store really large numbers and you can store really small numbers, but sometimes you might want to just represent infinity. And you actually can do that with number because there's three special values with a 64-bit number. There is infinity, negative infinity, and not a number. So yeah, not a number is a possibility for the number data type. So for example, we're just going to go through a little application, say how many babies I want to have. And what we're going to do is we're going to raise this to a power. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in babies. So you call math.pow with lowercase p there and pass in the value, which is the base value. So what do we want to raise to a power? Then we put a comma and then the exponent. So, you know, I want lots of babies. So we'll raise it to the 200th power. And what's going to happen is when we refresh, we just get the value infinity. Same thing if I want a negative number, that's possible if you get these inputs correct. Boom, negative infinity. This works like normal infinity. For example, we can multiply it by two and it's still infinity. Now the other special value is not a number. And this will occur if we're trying to do math on something that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> so for example, let's try to add two to um, console.log. 
So we're printing console.log plus two. When we do a refresh, we get not a number. Which makes sense because how are we supposed to add two to console.log? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Back to the positive and negative infinity, you can also get that when doing certain divisions. So for example, one divided by zero, refresh, and we get infinity. This isn't giving us an error in JavaScript. Other languages might try to bite your head off for trying to divide by zero. You can also get negative infinity from this as well. That's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. In the upcoming video, we're gonna talk about more of the properties and methods for numbers. We've learned about some of them here, but there's a lot more we could talk about and some really cool stuff that you should know about. So please be sure to check it out. Also check out our sponsor in the link in the description. And thank you guys, I'll see you in the next one.